Hello friends and welcome to my YouTube channel Simply Stocks and today I'm going to talk about Westlife Development, an interesting McDonald's stock. Let's understand why the stock is in so much losses and what you should do with the company. Let's get started. First of all a disclaimer that this is not a stock recommendation. People taking any position to any share that I talk about should do that with their own due diligence and research and I'm not in favor or against any company that I talk about. Before I talk about Westlife development, here's a small request that kindly support me on Patreon and once you do that, it'll help me grow the channel, it'll help you also ask me questions on a daily basis. Uh, once you get the $10 membership, you'll have access to my portfolio, my watch list and also a number of podcasts that I put up from uh, time to time on different stocks and market analysis. Uh, for detailed company uh, analysis and if you have individual companies with you, you can directly email me. Now about Westlife Development, it was established in 1982 and they focus on uh, putting up and operating uh, quick service restaurants or QSR restaurants. They have McDonald's as, uh, as their franchisee and they are spread across the nation. The market cap of the company is 5,500 crore and has underperformed for a number of quarters, probably 2-3 years uh, even after listing and the company has not done that well on the profitability basis although on the sales basis they have done reasonably well uh, i'm going to outline some of the reasons as to why the company has not been able to do that well and what what needs to be done so kindly watch the videos uh, watch the video till the end if you're holding the stock or if you're planning to uh, buy the stock so if you look at the financials and this is where all the you can say the poison lies uh, this is the March numbers that have come through actually these are uh, yeah so these are June numbers not March numbers but these are June numbers June FY 20 numbers versus FY 19 and we have seen sales drop by 66 percent we have seen a huge uh, loss of 60 crores versus one crore on on the profit basis uh, there's high interest cost and this is the first biggest you can say drawback for a company which is in the consumer domain uh, bottom line is a big concern even before uh, uh, the crisis that has hit india uh, bottom line has remained a huge concern uh, for the nation uh, return on equity lies at five and a half percent operating profit margin is there uh, but if there are losses on the profit after tax front, then uh, there's no use of having very good or decent operating profit margin. So what are the problems? The problems are that uh, sales have remained fine. I mean, let's leave this June quarter aside, but sales have remained fine, but the profits have dipped and interest have increased gradually. Uh, so they are not profitable company similar to what online you can say retail companies are you have the flip cards of the world and others they're not that profitable or some some of them are in heavy losses we have uh, mcdonald's franchisee i mean this westlife in the same domain and we don't know when they are going to be profitable and this is the biggest reason why investors are not quite interested in buying into uh, such companies and getting the stock price leveraged because you don't have a eps to look at and then you don't have an eps to look at then you you cannot you can say value the company in that regard many investors look at any consumer companies with respect to the eps growth and there is no eps whatsoever although there is high institutional holding and only 11 percent free float is there but yes if the company doesn't make profits on the bottom line even if its name is mcdonald's uh investors would not come in and, and buy the stock if you look at the performance of the stock so stock has been a huge underperformance over the years it has declined after uh, you can say uh, the listing etc and has seen a, seen a sharp fall in february march of about 50 percent from from those levels uh, pre-february levels in january and numbers have been declining and it has declined sharply even now in current situation or current you can say business environment has also hurt the company badly even further return ratios are very meager and although these are 14 percent and whatever percentage i was telling it has even gone down further with the kind of business situation that we are going through debt has continuously increased and 
and one has to remember that many of the stocks whether it's in pharmaceuticals some in consumer uh, even something like a pvr etc have recovered very sharply from the lows but the this company has not the stock has not recovered uh, that uh, that much uh, from the bottom of March uh, 2020 and that is a concern so it it remains to be seen that when things normalize how the company would do how the stock would perform uh, going forward so why I believe it is an avoid and what what uh, is it that I don't like in this company uh, simple thing is I invest into companies which, which have a lot of uh, a good profit growth on the bottom line so even if there is a sales uh, you can say drip and and every company has had a sales dip over uh, the last uh, you can say three months and over the last quarter but as long as profits are there and profits are growing then i would like to look at the company but here there is no profit whatsoever uh, the debt is increasing so another point that I, I i look at any company is the debt level and here being a consumer company i would always like a company that has virtually no debt or very little debt on their books here the debt has continuously increased and that is a complete no-no uh, for um, anyone like me uh, to get into a company the business environment will further hurt the numbers it is extremely clear companies which have not done well in decent times in times when when everything was going fine when people were visiting restaurants and there was chocolate block restaurants mcdonald's across india yet they didn't do that well then how come the company will do well over the next two three quarters i don't know because things will only normalize in my opinion over the next three to four quarters so going forward also in the foreseeable future i i don't see westlife doing uh, that well uh, in terms of numbers competition from other delivery apps from other you can say even your local shop uh, vendors now deliver to your home food products and with the kind of situation that we are living in uh, people want to or, or restaurant owners want to make money anyhow and, and people are not visiting restaurants so everyone is right now delivering even your kirana store uh, persons are delivering at your at your home uh, apart from restaurant sector or the small shops so this is a huge competition uh, versus a mcdonald which which used to uh, you can say marvel on the fact that uh, people visited their uh, uh, you can say qsr and and restaurants and 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 used to spend a lot of time there things have changed drastically and that is going to hurt the company because the company has not changed that much uh, over this period of times things could uh, con continue to remain extremely tough over the next six months and it could be a value trap so people do talk about it it's not that uh, large investors or investors on television do not talk about westlife and qsr but this is one classical value trap that i see uh, i don't see any value at these prices unless the company comes out with certain amount of eps and profits uh, and hence one should stay away from the company uh, you cannot just invest because of the name of the company and everything else uh, the the biggest point is profits if the company is making profits or not so it will take at least six to nine months let's say a year for this to revive and let's see after two quarters how the numbers pan out and then we can have a look at it again so what needs to be done in my opinion avoid for the time being uh, keep track of numbers but do not buy into the uh, stock buy only when bottom line improves and you see that profits would come in and you will come to know it with interviews etc may continue to underperform even in uh, you can say good environment when things even normalize this will be an underperformer in the consumer space and if you have bought it do not buy more than five percent of your portfolio so this was my video on Westlife development please like and subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you can get my videos straight away when i post it thanks a lot for watching